Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this morning I decided to go out and do some flying. I did some testing of some batteries and did some other stuff. And this was actually my last flight of the uh, morning. It was cold. I only flew about, oh, I don't know, about three packs or so, I think. And this was the third one. Um, so I wanted to, uh, to just have a little fun here. And so I've been flying my KISS rig uh, here recently and really uh, really been enjoying it and not so much because I like it over race flight or uh, I'm losing interest in, in race flight flight one um, definitely not the case but I kind of like this setup here for a couple reasons one it's kind of light I mean not not terribly light you know 600 grams or so and um, so you've got that but it's got uh, punchier motors um, a little more, a little more um, not a lot, but a little bit more. They are uh, uh, 2205s, just like my other ones, but they're 2450s, and they got just a little more torque. They're race day quad um, motors, and I just uh, just really like the feel of these motors on this setup. It just feels really good. It's just a lot of fun to fly. I'm looking to build a new one, so um, I'm kind of researching on what motors I want to get. And everything as it's going to be a race flight build because I definitely uh, enjoy race flight but I want to have a race flight set up on something a little more punchy I want to see what that really feels like to get a good good comparison so I've been looking at motors and, and stuff to figure out what I want to do there um, but as far as the frame goes um, I already ordered that pre-ordered actually a frame from Rand Brand Designs um, Rand Brewer I had one of his frames before that I won in a contest from uh, Frank Sarfino. It was an Opti 5 frame, and I loved that frame, man. It took all kinds of abuse, but it finally, finally gave the goes, finally broke on me, um, crashed into a metal pole, and, you know, it finally, finally snapped. So, um, had to, had to, to ditch it and uh, put my race flight stuff back on a uh, Martian 2 frame. It's it's fine, you know, those, those frames are fine, but I really like that Opti frame. It just felt really good. It was super stiff. Um, the race flight stuff flew a lot better on it. So Rand came out with a, another frame design called the Juice Press, and um, it's lighter than the Opti 5 frame. Looks to be really durable, looks to be uh, pretty sleek, and so um, he had a, a deal going. If you pre-order, you got like 15 bucks off or something or the other. So I got the frame with his 3D printed accessories um, for for like 65 bucks for a really nice frame. It's got like five millimeter arms, and um, I, I think all of it weighs less than 100 grams. So that coupled with a little bit beefier motors and a nice uh, Flight One setup should be a whole lot of fun to fly. Really looking forward to it. So I've just got to kind of figure out what I'm going to, going to do there. It's going to be my Christmas present. So I'm going to be building that after Christmas. So it should be a whole lot of fun to do. Uh, you guys got any recommendations for motors um, that, uh, that you think are great? Um, I'm looking for something that pairs well with the HQ 5x 4.3 by 3 props, which you know, should be just about any motor really. Those are great props. Um, but I want something that's kind of efficient, kind of smooth, um, but just got a little more bite to it. So the ones I'm looking at, uh, Race Day Quads has a 2207-2450 motor that looks pretty good. And um, I thought about getting some of the, uh, the Hype Train grinder motors. Those are a couple of the options um, that I'm looking at. I don't want to spend a lot of money on it, but, you know, I want something decent. So you guys let me know what you think. Have a great day. <laughs> that was terrible. Have a great day, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Go out and do something good for somebody. Go be inspiring people that you are. See ya.